guys who wanted to Bam and Terrible. Today we never forgot Neptune's Arc featuring our Arcus V Star with Dugong combo. We have our 3D Nova to charge up our Pokemon, our V Pokemon's in play with 3 water energy every single turn. Uh, attaching as many water energy from the deck as we can while doing 200 damage for 3 colorless. We also get to search for our Double Turbo to uh, quick start our Arcus V Star for the energy cost. We have 2 copies of Double Turbo in this deck and also we're playing Flow Return to do 40x damage for each water energy we shuffle back into the deck. After getting as much energy with Trinity Nova, we also have our Finion to attach even more energy from our hand. If we get our Greninja to draw cards, we actually get to play uh, Bucket and also Marnie to draw out even more cards even more energy to attach onto our dugong on the next turn to be able to play even more damage with flow return so this is our main combo we want to be using uh, our attack to attach energy we want to be using ability as well both uh, we have two different ways of attaching energy and we also get to tank damage with Argus V star having 280 HP if they play a one-hit knockout strategy though we have our Finion to fall back on to attach even more energies on the next turn we also have Melanie and Raihan to attach extra one copy of energy every single turn slowly charge up for big damage with our flow return eventually doing a vmax knockout with this attack so you have to be very careful though because you are shuffling back all water energy from play back inside the deck and that means you may not have any more energies on your arcus to do damage on the next turn and that means we're either gonna have to play our flow return at the last second doing a last minute knockout with this attack or play our Melanie slash Raihan with double turbo, charging up 3 energies in a single turn to do our next Trinity Nova. To set up our bench, we're playing 4 Vivi Pass, 4 Quick Ball, 1 Heavy Ball with 2 Capture. For the Evolution, we have 3 Incense and 2 Ultra Balls. For the Draw Sport, we're playing 1 Raiding Greninja, 2 Marnie, 2 Melanie, 1 Raihan, 1 Serena, and 1 Bird Keeper. We also have 1 Switch and 2 Escape Rooms in the deck with 1 Choice Belt for the damage boost, 1 Capricious Bucket to search for our energies, and 1 Hyper Potion to heal extra damage from our Arcus V Star after attaching extra energies from the deck with Trinity Nova. So if they are not able to do a one-hit knockout on our V-Star, we actually get to recover damage with this card, buying ourselves an extra turn to do Trinity Nova more times, getting extra energies into the game before we actually play our flow return. You can of course discard your double turbo or capture for the recovery effect, but if you are forced to discard your water energies, we have one rod to shuffle them back, or you could even play your Melanie and Raihan to reattach them from the discard pile. Next, we have our Temple of Sinnoh in two copies to shut down special energies, helping us counter decks like Lugia V-Star, Regibox, or even one prize decks that play double turbo and twin like Duran. We also have 1 JP and V to counter Mew Max, 1 Manifi for the bench barrier, 2 double turbo, 2 capture with 11 basic water energy. A second version of this deck replaces a double turbo for a V guard, helping us tank a bit more damage with our V star, potentially scoring us extra energies with Trinity Nova. We also have 1 B barrel for the draw support and 1 extra Melanie instead of Marnie, 2 Poncho to hide our V star on bench, 1 energy switch replacing Finion, 1 dance burst for the weakness guard and 1 Suicune. So that's all for the deck list, now let's go for some gameplay! Okay, let's go for our first game versus Lost Box with Arceus Dugong. We got Hyper Potion against Lost Mine Sablai. So if they try to pile up damage counters for the knockout with Lost Mine against our V-Star, we get to heal damage, recover with our Hyper Potion, and buy ourselves an extra turn to draw extra prizes, basically, using Hyper Potion for, uh, you know, an extra turn. But we only are playing one copy, and they could actually do Echoing Horn, though. So Sablai is quite... Uh, crazy right now is actually pretty dangerous you have to be careful not to bench the wrong things because if they knock out any you know if you have done sparse many on your bench they could actually knock it we have finion with only 50 hp as well so if you bench finion with your seal way too early they could actually do a two price knockout in a single turn with sabli and then you know they can lost cards pretty early as well with colrus and comfy and then after that, on the next turn, they can play Echoing Horn for another two prize, right? If you have Bidoof on the bench with your, you know, with no other, with your Arceus in play, they could quite easily Echo Horn uh, the Finion back onto the bench. So make sure you don't put it, put any Pokemon into play that you don't need, especially those low HP ones against a Lost Box, because they can quite easily get extra prizes with the goddamn Sabli. Be very careful, right? Um, we have our V Star early game, so we're just gonna Star Birth right here. So for this game, we actually are not playing any B Barrel. We have instead our uh, Finion, Drapion V, and also more supporter cards for the draw. We have Marnie. Uh, we actually are toying with two different lists for this deck. We have one without the Finion and one with the Finion, right? We have instead uh, energy switch for the other list. 
to help us charge up our Dugong, because even if we play Finneon, honestly, we're not able to draw that many cards. Not, uh, you know, we can't really draw that many energies into our hand. Uh, even if we have the ability to freely attach uh, water energy from our hand onto the Dugong, we may not be able to get enough to attach more than two or even three in a single turn. Uh, if we are, if we're lucky enough to get the Marnie though, because we are attaching from the deck with Arceus, so it may actually we may be able to uh, top deck a Marnie or Melanie, drawing out more energies with those supporter cards, helping us charge up uh, the next Dugong with more energies. Anyways. So it appears that they are struggling to get their confis out early game, and we got a quick start. We got an early, um, early start with our V Star, fortunately against this Lost Box, and now they're gonna do their Colrus finally. Um, here comes Kremren's first damage. Kremren's gonna do their first attack onto. They could be playing Escape Rope though. Okay. Oh my God! They did not attack. They actually just pass a turn. We're going to evolve the Dugong. Um, doesn't seem like we need to do anything else. We just need to keep on Nova um, for one knockout at a time. So if we have the energy switch, we could actually do uh, Moonlight Shuriken with Greninja. But they have Menifee anyways. So that's the good thing about playing the energy switch uh, combo instead of the Finneon. If you replace the Finneon for energy switch... You get to play it with Raihan onto your Greninja. Uh, in a single turn, charge up three energies to do Moonlight Shuriken for two prize knockout, right? P potential two prize knockout against uh, decks like Lunar Sensor Rock, um, or even, you know, low HP decks like Lost Box if they don't get their Mana Fee. If they have it prized, if they don't get a Heavy Ball, for example. It's not that easy though, obviously. <laughs> they could actually play Irida for the Heavy Ball, right? If they play uh, Cremorant, they should be getting Irida, and they're reading Greninja as well. So I feel like Lost Box actually needs that card. Just in case they lost the wrong cards, right? They could have their Radiant Pokemon uh, prize, they could have uh, any other, you know, if they are only playing one copy of Tremoran as well, they could have it prize. Okay, let's, let's get, oh, we're not gonna get the Finneon. We're actually going to draw it into our hand, but we're not going to bench it. So we're just going to attach the energy onto Dugong, preparing for flow return just in case they bench any V cards on the next turn. They could bench a V at the last minute, like a Raikou or Crabominable, just to finish off our Arceus, because 11 damage counters isn't enough with uh, Kremran. They have no Radiant Charizard as well for the big damage, so I'm actually wondering how they're going to knock out our V-Star, right? Um, Sablai feels like the only option, but they're not placing enough damage counters with Sablai. So Greninja could actually help them for this situation. If they are pulling out Greninja to do Moonlight Shuriken multiple times with Rod and the Mirage Gate, we need to think about healing our Arceus, because if we don't get the Hyper Potion um, fast enough, we won't be able to heal um, enough damage counters to avoid a knockout, because they got 18 damage counters though, 180 damage with Greninja, which is a lot more than the Sableye, and if they did Moonlight Shuriken, they can quite easily finish off both the V-Star with the Sableye later on, right? So that's their main strategy to spread damage with Greninja, and then finish off those uh, damaged Pokemon, those injured Pokemon with damage counters using Lost Mine. Um, we have to be very careful against Lost Box. They could choose to play Charizard for big damage, which I feel like is better. But sometimes against one prize though, Raiding Greninja could be a huge asset, so you never know. Okay, Escape Rope, and here comes the Bench Snipe. We should have expected that, but I kind of... I was a bit more scared of Sablai than the Greninja, which isn't really too smart because Greninja is doing uh, way more spread than Sableye is. 180 damage is a lot more than 12 damage counters. Um, especially if they have the Telescopic Sight, right? If they got the Telescopic Sight, they are actually playing uh, 240 damage this turn. So I'm not sure why we put the Dugong in the active. We should be expecting the Telescopic Sight and put the other Arceus 
Um, we can't really be attacking with the Dugong anyways that early. Uh, so we need to finish off the Greninja right now. So I don't think we should be playing um, the Escape Rope. Because otherwise we would be giving them the extra energy on the Greninja to do Mirage Gate a second time. So let's just discard the Double Turbo, heal 120 damage with Hyper Potion. We actually got it, which is grand. We're just gonna bench the Seal, which I feel like could be a bad decision. Um, and could actually <laughs> screw us over in the long run. Uh, but if we can evolve it before they hit the Lost Mine, we should be fine. Even if they do uh, Satellite on the next turn, uh, we actually have our big tanks. They have 6 prize remaining, so they have to deal with the V-Star at some point. Um, we just recovered damage, so I feel like things are going in our favor. If we just don't, um, don't make any wrong move, we should not be benching anything. I don't know why we bench the Greninja. Uh, we should definitely not be benching anything more because we are giving them extra knockouts if we bench too many loose uh, um, unnecessary cards. Okay, we're just going to shuffle back both the energies on the Dugong. Maybe? I'm not actually too sure. We should be shuffling back as many from one of the Arceus and then do Nova to charge it back um, from the deck. If all we need is 3 water on a single Arceus, right? So we should actually be shuffling back all from the Dugong and one of the Arceus. But they could quite easily do a boss on the other Arceus with the energies and play Crabominable for the knockout. So it's, you know, it's always, there's always an element of risk um, involved and you need to account for that. That's probably the reason why we left one energy on the other Arceus, um, just in case they do that. We actually get to retreat with the Dugong and play Melanie onto the Arceus or even Double Turbo to charge it up for, you know, the next Nova that could earn us, um, you know, another Arceus. We could actually bench another Arceus to get more energies in the game. But I feel like we should not be benching any more Pokemons because all we need is one last Arceus to win the game though. If they play Crabominable right now, it would be quite terrible. It would be quite terrible. Because they could actually play Crabominable twice for double V-Star knockout and then Sableye for the win. But I don't think they have enough turns though. Because Sableye is actually giving them only one prize. So it feels like their deck is still falling short. Because they got a really delayed start honestly. But uh, um, even with a proper start, I feel like we have the win. We have the edge because we got that Hyper Potion. We got our um, Dugong as well to basically deny them from, you know, an extra prize. So if they hit us on a bench, we got Manaphy with Heavy Ball. I feel like we still don't need to worry that much about the Greninja. Um, we didn't get Heavy Ball though for so long. Don't know why. <laughs> That's probably the reason why we're benching the Greninja to draw out the Heavy Ball. Um, couldn't find the Menifee for some reason. It's quite easy for them to play Cologne against the Menifee. And hit for 90 damage on two of our Pokemons with Moonlight Shuriken. So nothing is always off limits for this game. <laughs> Cologne is actually post-rotation. So I'm actually very uh, happy to try out Cologne. For new cards, new EX abilities. Okay, we're gonna Nova right here. We got two prize remaining. I feel like we got the win. I don't know why we're taking so long. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm just wondering if we should be drawing cards with the Greninja. Okay, we got the bucket. Let's just get one energy and attach it to the Greninja. Okay, we got the capture. I feel like we should just get two energies and then... Attach one on the Greninja, and maybe attach only one on the Arceus. Uh, sorry, only two on the bench. Because if we attach all three, we may not have enough energies to do Moonlight Shuriken. But I don't think we should be... The reason we attach the Greninja is probably for us to spread the energies. So that we can do more damage with uh, Flow Return later on, even if they play the boss. Because uh, if we attach it to the Dugong, they could quite easily boss the Dugong instead of the Arceus. Um, if they boss the Arceus, we lose 3 energies, but at least we have 1 extra on the Greninja. That's probably the reason why we attach the water on the Greninja. 
I don't think we want I don't think we should be planning on using they do have Crabominable, look at that. I don't think we should be planning on using Moonlight Shuriken because they have a mana fee and we are not playing cancelling cologne for this deck. Okay, here comes the Mirage Gate. And they are finally gonna knock out our first V-Star. Bit too late though. <laughs> not sure why they are not getting the right cards into their hand. Um, because they got so much draw power. So much draw power with Colrus and Comfy. Um, but I feel like there's always a risk of losting the wrong cards with your loss box. So that that could be the reason why um they didn't get Oh my god, they got Sky Seal Stone and they're actually not doing it. They're not doing it. They're not playing um what's it called again? Destroyer Punch for triple price draw. They could quite easily um, destroy the Arceus for 3 price, but they still need another turn to finish off the second Arceus, so... Yeah, fuck you, Lost Box. Yeah, it's a bit risky. If we manual attach... Uh, we got no twin, but we got a turbo. And if we attach a turbo to Dugong, though... Um, we are doing 20 less damage. So maybe one Raihan and three Melanies. <clears throat> no energy on the first turn. Playing 15 energies. Um, they got a Shadow Rider. Um, I don't think we need anything else. Just gonna pass a turn first. We may play the Ultra Ball for a second V-Star. For a second Arceus. Um, but I'm gonna see if I need this. I don't think we need this. Okay, it is a Shadow. So Shadow is doing a one-hit knockout though. That's not good. If they play the Radiant, we're done. They got so much energy. Okay, no Radiant, that's good. No Radiant, no Cresselia. If they do Cresselia though, they can't play the ability. Because the ability is ending their turn. Kind of the same thing. Um, are we gonna star birth right now? I honestly don't think we need the switch though. <clears throat> oh dear, we should not have evolved though. But if we don't evolve, we don't get the search. This is a bit tricky. If we search for water energy, we can discard and play a Melanie. Um, but we would need to search for Melanie and... Oh, this is tricky. We would need to search for the double turbo. How do we get the turbo? Okay, I'm gonna get... Wait. What if we just attach first? Bench that. And draw cards with the barrel. Right? I feel like we should definitely... Draw with the barrel first. And then do the star birth. Okay, <clears throat> okay, this is really good. Now we got the discard. Um, we just need Melanie and Double Turbo. Oh wait, we need the second Arceus. Oh, we got the second Arceus. So Melanie and Double Turbo. Oh, what is that? Melanie. Yay, we got the Turbo. We're only playing one copy. Yikes. It's actually quite scary. Um, I don't think we need the incense. Gonna get another Arceus, right? I feel like that's the right move. Battle compressor for trade. Um, <clears throat> I do have it, but I don't think any of them are for trade. I have it locked, unfortunately. Um, even if I do have them, I don't think I would because I have only four copies. I have no extra. Sorry. I don't play expanded though, so... <laughs> but I don't like to just trade cards for... Uh, without thinking. Because it's a bit... I feel like we should do this one. Because we have a poncho. Uh, you never know if I'm gonna... I never really know if I'm gonna switch to expanded at some point. The standard is way too competitive. And there's always the option of playing expanded, right? You never know. 
There's a lot more room for creativity and expanded. Yeah, sorry. I have like Wii Val GX and I seen people trading for I've seen public trades for Wii Vile. And for like Silver Tempers. And I want those packs so much, but I still keep my Wii Vials. I still have my Wii Val GX because it's like so precious. I remember the value back in Sun and Moon, and I'm just I'm not just gonna trade it for free, yo. Not even for Silver Tempest. I'm sorry. <laughs> Weevil is just way too, way too good. If I have more than four copies, then by all means, you know. <clears throat> have we got no seal? Which is a bit annoying. We should have kept the incense though. I forgot we need the dugong. Um, I think we're just gonna attach that. Okay, they haven't attacked though, which is a bit odd. Why haven't they attacked yet? Okay, we got the seal. Um, we just attached the energy though, which could be the wrong move. Um, we're just gonna get the seal right now. And... Escape rope, I guess? If we do the escape rope... I feel like we should play the escape rope later though, right? And then we would get a VMAX knockout. Do we do that? We're helping them to retreat if we don't... I don't know what to do. Because we actually... It's better for us to attack with this one. Uh, are they doing a knockout? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. She says the um. So, so, I don't think so. If they have the Articuno, I feel like it's safer. Just we have Boss, we have Serena, like whatever. <clears throat> okay, this is Danger Zone. Uh, Danger Zone. <laughs> We can attach the colorless though. We can attach the colorless onto the dugong. So I feel like we should just go for it. And attach as many water as we can. Because we have to expect one of the Arceus to die at some point anyways. We should have played Serena though. To draw cards. Oh my god. I'm not sure about Greninja now. I feel like just doing Venusaur. Greninja is just... I mean, we if we discard the energy, we're gonna have to recycle it back. So if we play Venusaur, we can swap this for energy switch, right? So I think we should be doing Radiant Venusaur and swap the air balloon for another switch. Because Venusaur is a, a little bit too heavy. Okay, they actually didn't retreat though. They didn't switch on retreat, which is a bit weird. Um, we're just gonna cycle back the energies later. Uh, we have no third Arceus, unfortunately. We got another boss in the deck. Um, no Serena. Shit, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. It's actually quite scary now. I don't think we need the Serena though. We have the boss. I feel like if we get the energy right now... Oh man. No energy. That sucks. Oh, that's bad. That's pretty bad. We should have waited for the seal before attaching the energy. We just need <coughs> we just need one more VMAX knockout and we're good. But if they attack with something else though, if they play like Alakazam, 
they're actually gonna do that. Alan Kazem for the knockout. Um, they got extra turns to get the Articuno. They may not be playing the Articuno though. It's a very weird deck. I mean, they have a uh, Zorok, Hisuian Zorok, which is a fun, um, fun addition for Shadow Rider, obviously. But I don't think in a competitive format is really that good. I don't know though, honestly. Because Arceus, uh, sorry, Lugia V Star don't actually play that many switch cards, right? So if they don't switch or retreat, that Zora is going to get them a free knockout. I guess. Mew VMAX has free retreat though. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, are we actually going to play this? Ooh, this is scary. This is really scary. <laughs> oh, we got Bibero. Uh, got Melanie. If we have the second Dugong, there we go. Just gonna evolve both the Dugongs right now. Are we actually gonna swim freely? We can actually swim freely though. That would be pretty cool. Let's do Melanie. If we swim freely and get a heads, that would be so dope. Um, we can't play Greninja right now. Definitely not. Uh, I don't really want to swim though. If we swim, it would we would lose the energy, but they're gonna boss anyways. Definitely need the Raihan and energy switch. Did not think that through. Let's just look through the deck. What do we have? <clears throat> I'm gonna play the Recycler first, maybe. Let's just get the Manaphy out. They may just do Articuno to snipe our Dugong though. So I'm just gonna bench the Manaphy right now. And retreat to the Dunsparce. Not sure what else to do, honestly. Oh, if they do a boss, it would be quite terrible. We got six cards. Oh, I forgot to attach this one. I forgot they're doing Mind Ruler. They can actually knock out the Dugong with the goddamn Alakazam. Yikes. That was stupid. That was really stupid. We have... If we attach this, they, they don't have the knockout. Oh man, why am I so stupid? I just literally gave them the knockout. Oh well. Please don't do a boss. Oh my god, if you play a boss, I would be so sad right now. V star with V max. No Articuno. We need the boss at some point though. Oh, we got two prize remaining. Because we just knocked out the Zora and the V max. Oh man. Oh, they did a boss on the Arceus. Okay, <laughs> that was silly. We got a poncho, man. Three, four, five, six. If they play Articuno, they can knock it out. Uh, we have no V guard, so 190 though. Six, seven, eight. They need two Articunos. Priscilla. Probably gonna retreat though. Did they retreat or did they switch? I think they retreated. Okay. Hurry up. Yay! Oh my god. They gave us that. Okay, now we just need a colorless energy. 
Oh, we got the colorless. We got the colorless and we got the melody. Finally get to do it. Low return for big knockout. We got 360 damage, yo. With flow return. Knocking out a VMAX. Yeah. Dugong. A meta Dugong deck. Look at that. It's a knockout. Wolflands. Wolflands. Metaphy. Hurry up. What's taking so long? Boo. Boo. Is he gonna concede? Okay. It's <laughs> kind of hoping he would concede because then we get extra rewards from the tournament, but then we wouldn't get to test out the deck, right? So, no VIP, got nothing but a capture. It's pretty sad. They're playing Bucket, Trading Court, so probably an Inteleon VMAX deck. Okay, we got something. Um, not sure if we should be benching this that early though. Palkia V-Star probably. Palkia Kyurem. Sad fucking Palkia deck. Okay, it's a Frost Maw. Maybe they're playing Raiden Greninja? <clears throat> As the primary attacker? Yeah, probably. Because they got Chinchino for the draw. Nessa, Greninja, Frostmoth box. They probably have extra bench knife cards as well. So we should be watching out for those. <clears throat> probably gonna capture. We should be capturing a Greninja or a Bibarel. But I feel like just doing. We could actually attach a double turbo onto. The deal gong. But we're doing less damage though. So not sure if we need to play Melody right now. But it would give us a lot more draw. And we don't have the barrel anyway, so might as well just do it. Um okay, this is quite scary. Because they may just do a boss to knock out the Arceus. Oh shit, I did not <laughs> I forgot to account for that. Do they have the knockout though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's bench the second Arceus later. Do we bench it now or do we bench it later? If they have the choice belt, they're doing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180 plus 3. Okay, we can't bench anymore. Uh, Let's just pass a turn, I guess. We got the switch. So we're gonna balloon on this one, maybe. Let's balloon on this one. Um, so if we play the Raihan, technically against a one price, we may be able to pull off Moonlight Shuriken with Greninja using Raihan uh, energy switch in a single turn or maybe power it up in two turns for three energies okay star me is going to be really bad because they're going to do so much damage onto the arceus star me is going to help them a lot so this is actually pretty bad right now we got the choice belt for free knockout we gotta watch out for the star me though so maybe Dilgong isn't really helping for this game. Because we want to be attaching as little energy as possible to deny them a straight knockout. Hey Milka, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. 
Nessa. I'm fine. Um, why do you feel sad? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh shit, we got no mana fee. Oh man, we needed a mana fee. I was preparing for Suicune. Shit. I was so preparing for Suicune. That was just stupid. Damn it. Just gave them the free knockout. Transfer my account, but I lost all of my stuff. I can't play anymore. How, what do you mean by you lost all of your stuff? What do you mean by you lost all of your stuff? Like all of your cards? Don't they get transferred? My deck's boosters. Oh, your boosters get transformed into crystals, right? They get transformed into crystals. You can use the crystal to buy bundles. Um, let's discard the quick ball, maybe. I think we need the mana fee for sure. Yeah, the life is actually pretty annoying. It's not really that good. It's easier to trade if you ask me but I don't know people like um, people like the life so can't really do anything about that uh, let's discard the turbo let's do star birth right now wait do we need the star birth two hundred and ten though if we play the Serena we got extra knockout so, Starmie is free though. Let's kill the Starmie. 190. Let's discard the turbo. One, two, three, four, five. Choice belt. I feel like two energies is safer, but they could just revive the Starmie though. If they play Nessa for the Starmie, it would be pretty terrible. Um, but they need the choice belt. Yeah, the gameplay is definitely better than life. But they have new special effects now. Um, I just updated, so I'm not sure if they're going to come up with better sound effects and visuals. And also, like, the card, the way you search for cards, the way you attach energy, is just very weird. Like when you use the ability to draw cards or to search for things, I the interface is very, very, very weird. It's just, it doesn't feel natural, you know? It just doesn't feel natural at all. I knew they have the choice belt. Fuck, I should not have done that. I knew they were going to do that. And I just did it anyways. Damn it. Oh well, now we just need the boss though. Okay, we got the boss. If we can just get our V-Star, our second V-Star. Oh, my mouse is not working. Okay, we got the V-Star. Um... There's no way they can kill us, right? They got Crabominable. But that's about it. 
We got Starburst. For the choice belt and boss. So I feel like we're good. Just gonna Nova for the knockout right now. There's no way they can draw two prizes. Like, come on. Against a V Star. We got Menifee. If they do a boss and a cologne, oh my gosh. Oh shit, I forgot about Cologne. We should not be benching the Bidoof. If they do a boss with a Cologne, we're done. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. No. That's a possibility, but they may not have it. Let's hope they don't have it. Okay, no boss. Please don't play a cross switcher. Melody. It's not enough though, right? Melody for Blizzard Rondo. A supporter card? You already played a supporter card though. What are you gonna search for? Irida? You can't play it. Can't play a boss. It's too late. Chinchino. Draw two cards, draw another two cards. Fucking insane. Just get your water energy. I don't care if you get your water energies. Okay, Suicune's gonna attack. Oh man, Suicune's gonna draw another card. Fucking Suicune. Oh my god. Just get your evolution, I don't care. Please. Oh, thank god, yes! Oh yes. We don't even need to do a boss though, but we're gonna do it anyways. Fuck you. Goddamn Frostmoth box. You're done. And we got extra energies. Uh huh. <laughs> Fucking Starmie. It's too early to say, right? We need more gameplays. More data. More data collections. Lugia! Come on, let us fight a Lugia! I wanna fight a Lugia! Gimme a Lugia! Let me at him! Let me at him! Yay, a Lugia! Oh my gosh. I'm actually quite scared right now. If we go first, we got Nova, so we should be fine. But if we go second though, it would be quite terrible. I so we get the water energy at some at some point. Okay, we got the water. That's good. Um, okay, we go first. That's really really good. No Lugia just yet. We're gonna bench this one. Oh, we need the Beedoof though. And oh, we got the VIP. They got Raikou. Gotta watch out for Raikou. Just gonna bench the Suicune maybe? I'm not sure if we should be benching the Suicune this early though. Uh, Bibarel, Dewgong, Arceus. So we got no discard. We're gonna need to play a double turbo or a quick ball for Melanie. If we do quick ball Melanie, we're probably gonna draw out the third energy, right? No Greninja. We could actually, we could have done a Heavy Ball. We could have searched for Heavy Ball Melanie. Ah, oh, that was stupid. We should not be benching the Suicune this early. We don't even need it. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was a huge mistake. Could have done heavy ball. Okay, we got the quick ball. Now we just need the Melanie. For a second, Dugong. <clears throat> just gonna discard that, right? Um... If we do a turbo, we actually don't have the knockout. Oh, that's sad. Um, we got Greninja though. Oh, this is actually pretty annoying. <laughs> so close. We need to play the Melanie right now. Turbo... 210, oh man. That's just a waste. We're gonna play a V-Guard then. A V-Guard with Melanie. We should get the Heavy Ball though. Sorry about the lag, nothing I can do. Second Arceus. Quick balls. We're gonna Nova. Three water on the bench. Let's spread the energy actually. If they play Avery though... No Archeops yet. I don't see any Archeops. So let's hope they don't get the research. Okay, a Marnie. Still better than a research. If they get the Incense Ultra Ball, they still got the win. They need to discard two Archeops though, because they didn't get uh, the energies on the first turn or the second. Uh, this is actually their second turn. So if they get the energy, they can play Archeops for the double turbo. And a powerful, they even got a choice belt. So all they need is one Arceus, really. One Archeops. Quick ball, probably. No quick ball, okay. Haha, <laughs> okay. You're so done. Um, we just need the energy switch, though. Oh man, if we got the energy switch... They conceded. <laughs> Could have done flow return. So we actually need to play escape rope retreat um, to attack with the same Arceus. Because that would give us more energies for our Dugong for the next turn. Or maybe just knock out the Dunsmars for, for one prize. And then deal with the Lugia with the Dugong for another two prize, right? Because then we got two prize remaining. We even got Menifee though, against the goddamn Raikou. Amazing Raikou. Not so amazing. Oh, we should always check though. Always check if you have a bit barrel in the deck before benching our Bidoof. Okay, we have it, thank god. Um, but let's get Grenin- no Greninja, oh no. Are we gonna get Suicune? Are we gonna get Menifee? I don't think we need Menifee. Okay, we got a capture. We're just gonna escape rope right now. Because we need to draw cards. And we got nothing. Oh well. At least we get to attack fast. With the Blizzard Rondo before doing anything else. So Suicune is helping us, um, you know, 
is giving us the alternative option to Greninja. If we got Greninja priced, we don't have the Heavy Ball. If we can't get Greninja to discard energy for Melanie, then we are forced to play Suicune. It's going to help us get early damage in the game. Reggie Drago. Are we going to evolve this early? Whatever. Um, are we going to play the melody? They need Gardenia though. Do we have the Gardenia and the Switch? Oh, if they play Energy Switch. Oh man, if they do Energy Switch, they got the knockout. We just need the Arceus for the double turbo. But if we have the turbo prize, then we can kill the Reggie Drago. They don't have Gudra. No Gudra yet, so. Even with double turbo, we can do the knockout. Oh my god, Serena. Still no Gudra. If they play Legacy Star... Okay, they need the energy switch though, right? No Gardenia. They attach the grass, so no fire this turn. We got an extra turn. Holy shit. What are they getting? Only 7 though. Probably the choice belt and the training court. They have the training court in play already. So they may just get the Serena back. Um, or a research. A switch. Okay, a switch. Wow. How did they get the fire energy though? They're gonna tank with the second... Oh, there we go. They're actually gonna tank with the Reggie Drago. If we got the Heavy Ball with the Star Birth, we just need an Incense. We can Star Birth for Greninja and Double Turbo. Okay, this is tricky. <clears throat> Got the quick ball at least. Let's get the second dugong maybe? I don't even know what to do. Oh man, we got nothing. How are we getting nothing? Yikes. Oh, we got Greninja. Oh my god, how did I not see that? We just need the goddamn incense, yo. What the fuck? Come on. Really? No incense?
If we get damage in the game, would that help us a lot more? I feel like it would help us a lot more though. But if we don't have the Nova... Uh, I'm so frustrated right now. I don't actually know what to do. Oh man. We got the Serena at some point. If we got the Serena this turn, we could have killed that one. I mean, there's no way they can charge up this Drago to attack because they need the switch and the Gardenia. This is bad. They got Dragonite. Okay, they got Dragonite for this one. But they're going to have to waste the first Drago though. So we just need a Serena and a boss. And that's it. Okay, they're giving us a good hand. Look at that. The double turbo though. Not sure about the double turbo. We may just need one Serena though. Because we got one knockout for this one. And then one Serena with flow return gives us a big knockout. So we should have actually attached um, the poncho onto the second one. But they got... Oh, they can't use Requiem. Oh wait, they got the Lost Impact. 280 damage, Lost Impact. So they kind of need the V-Guard. If we play the V-Guard right now, I feel like we got a higher chance of winning. Oh man. I feel like we need the V-Guard and the Poncho. We attached the Poncho to the wrong one. We played Melanie to the wrong Pokemon. How do we man like how do we manage to do such a huge mistake? Poncho V-Guard and then Greninja. So do more damage. Okay, they're not playing Gudra, apparently. It's not taking less damage though, right? Um, I don't know what to do right now. Okay, they just conceded. If we got the V-Guard, I think we win the game. I'm just like trying to be a bit more careful. Got Arceus. The last box. Wonderful. Should we do an Ice Q for this deck? Ice Q would help against Reggie Box. Would help help against a lot of decks. Uh, okay, let's not take too long now. We actually have no B Barrel, so we're gonna get Greninja with the Suicune. We're going to play Capture first. 
for another Arceus, maybe. Quick Ball. Um, should I play the boss? They have nets though, right? They have net escape rope. There's no point, but at least you would be wasting one of their nets. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't go for promotions. Thank you though, thanks for... Um, chatbots. Thanks for the offer. But I'm not sure I have the means to pay for promotion right now. Sweekun. We should try an Empoleon. Fucking comfy. All we need is an Empoleon. We got escape rope though. So we kinda need two copies. Mirage gate already? Oh my god. Mirage gate already. Are they actually gonna do Aqua Storm right now? Psychic lightning water. That's a lot of different type of energies. Oh my god, Cramoran already. We just need the V-Star. If we can somehow dig for the V-Star, we should be good. Okay, we got double turbo choice belt, but 230. Yikes. Um... We get the Melanie and Choice Belt though. Uh, Melanie? Is it gonna help us, I guess? We need the Menifee, right? Raihan would give us a choice belt, so let's do Raihan for the next turn. We may not be able to play Raihan that early though. Should have done the escape rope first.
Should have evolved the Dugong. <clears throat> so many should haves. Do we just need the choice belt on the next turn? Uh, we could have gotten the choice belt. Uh, I don't know why he got the Raihan. We have to wait for the knockout now. So Serena boss is not gonna help. Unless if we get the choice belt. <laughs> that was quite stupid. We could have just gotten the choice belt. Because Suikun would have given us the Dragonite knockout. I feel like if we play a powerful... It would make this deck a lot stronger. Powerful with Starbirth, I mean, makes a lot of sense, right? Melanie, powerful. One powerful, one V guard. Maybe we have too many captures. Maybe. Bird Keeper Mirage Gate So we're doing 200 damage with Suicune 200 damage with Arceus Which is a bit sad We should have attached an extra energy onto the Arceus though Why did we attach everything on Suicune? If we got the energy switch or the choice belt, we could actually knock out the Dragonite. But that would be a bit risky because we would need um, we would need something else. Uh, let's just discard the Arceus. I don't think we need that. Gonna get another Arceus maybe. annoying okay we got the choice belt and the energy switch uh ooh, this is a huge dilemma right now it's actually a huge dilemma right now We have to spread the energies though, right? And how do we actually do that? Oh, we could have just retreated though. We could have retreat and attack with Suicune, but we would be losing our energies. It's almost the same thing. But energy switch and Raihan, one, two, uh, three. <laughs> so we don't have a lot of energies uh, left, which is not good. I feel like we should not be attaching that many. Because they got boss. And it's actually quite scary now. If we play Greninja though. Oh, we should have... Oh man. I do not think about Greninja. Totally forgot about Greninja. We kind of have to do flow return as fast as possible though. We should have done another water on the Suicune because we got choice belt for the Arceus. So we got two prize again with the Greninja. I feel like we won this game, because we got the Moonlight Shuriken. Uh, we have to play the Raihan right now.
I don't actually know what to do. Let's get the double turbo, actually. Gonna bench the Arceus right now. And... Um, we can't play the concealed cards, unfortunately. So they got no meta fee, we got another 2 prize. All thanks to Greninja. So we don't need Ice Q after all. If we play Ice Q though, they're probably gonna play a boss, right? Boss escape rope easily counters Ice Q. So I feel like Empoleon V has a lot more value. One last prize, they're done. Wizard Wyatt Dragonite Dragonite with Kyogre Funny combo Dragonite does a V-Star knockout though, right? Will HKO a V-Star with Choice Belt? Which is pretty crazy, but they didn't get the Choice Belt Surprisingly, they lost the Choice Belt was it this turn or on the last? They lost the choice belt so they couldn't kill two copies. If they got the choice belt, they could have done a straight knockout on our V-Star. But we got Greninja still, so I feel like we should be fine still, even after that. Um, but for the final knockout though, I feel like we have nothing but Suicune to fall back on. If we did Raihan, we got double turbo though. So we still have the Arceus to do Trinity Nova for the last knockout. So we would have one prize remaining. They would possibly have two prize remaining right now. Um, and even if they do a boss, they can't draw the final two prize. Okay, let's go for the next one versus a water box. Um, it's actually Cramrant, the Vivid Voltage Cramrant with Arakuda for Continuous Gulp Missile hitting 60x damage for each Arakuda discarded from the bench. So they're doing a maximum of 240 damage uh, with Choice Belt. They're actually not killing our V-Star because we have 10 HP remaining. So Arcus is gonna tank against the Cramrant. We even have Temple of Sinnoh to shut down their special energies. They're playing Twin Double Turbo for Cramrant to attack. <clears throat> they actually are not playing Raihan with water. They have nothing but twin double turbo. I think they're playing capture as well. So. Okay, we got Greninja for an early start. We're just gonna um, discard the energy, I guess. We should be attaching though, because we got Marnie for the draw spot already. I don't know why we actually chose to play the Greninja. We got the Marnie. We should definitely be playing... Um, we should be attaching the energy, right? Because if we got the Arceus on the next turn with the Marnie, we can't actually play uh, the Melanie. So thankfully, we actually drew the Arceus into our hand. And that means we get to play, uh, we get to search for Melanie and maybe a Water Energy, but we still need a Double Turbo though. So I feel like we should definitely have attached the energy on the last turn. I don't know why I did that, because now we need the Melanie and the Double Turbo. And we have no water energy discarded yet. So how do we do that? That was a big mistake. We should not be discarding the energy that early. That was a huge mistake. I did not think that through. Oh well, let's see if we can survive that horrible play though. Um, We got our Marnie to potentially get uh, the double turbo. But... I don't think we could afford to waste another turn. They may just do a knockout this turn, right? They may just pull out their um, switch, bird keeper, double, uh, you know, twin energy, double turbo. Even with the double turbo, they're doing a knockout. They got the bird keeper, so now they just need the energy. Will they get their special energy? They're drawing cards with 
um, the bird keeper and also the trekking shoes. Here comes another VIP. So the risky thing about Cramoran is that you are emptying your bench and that means you have to have a second Cramoran after playing the continuous god missile, right? Otherwise you would have no other Pokemons on the bench and one, uh, one knockout is all your opponent needs to win the game. And obviously you have no space for Menifee, so it's quite risky to play uh, Cramoran, honestly, in standard right now. It's gonna get rotated anyways. Um, but they did not get their energy, so apparently we're gonna last an extra turn for this game, thankfully. So we're gonna capture our Finneon and play the Marnie, hopefully getting uh, at least two water energy, and then we can Arceus for a bucket, right? I don't think we have a bucket for this list though, so for this game, unfortunately, we're not playing any buckets in our deck. Uh, and we made the horrible mistake of searching for water energy with our star birth Making us stuck on the next turn. I wasn't aware that we actually weren't able to play Melanie um, On the next turn, so I thought we had the Melanie like we're good, right? But we actually couldn't play it for the draws part because we have no water energy discarded so Flow Return is shuffling back all the water energy into the deck and that means after using that attack we have no water energy in the discard pile to play the Melanie um, no water energy in, in our hand because we actually need to attach all three water onto the Dugong and shuffle them back into the deck in order to knock out just the Cramorant and if we shuffle all back we got no energy in our hand to play the Greninja we can't use Melanie and that's the reason we got stuck for a few turns after this, which is very, very stupid. So we made a mistake of discarding the V-Guard, and now we are making our second huge mistake for this game. Um, I'm sorry, but my gameplay is pretty bad for this one. <laughs> no excuse there. So we have Training Court instead of Bucket for this game. Um, only one Temple of Sinnoh. Uh, not sure why we have the Training Court. Probably because... Uh, because of Finneon, right? If you got Finneon with your training card, you actually get to uh, attach extra, maybe two or three energies with your bucket. If you play training card and Marnie, you could get extra water energies from the deck and also the discard pile. So if you attach, for example, three extra energies, you got 120 more damage with your flow return on the next turn. Um, training card really isn't a good deal though, because we are not discarding that many water energy from our hand. We are discarding with Greninja every turn if we can, but we have Melanie to reattach them from the discard pile. We have Raihan as well. So I don't think Training Court has much value for this deck. We eventually swapped it for a Rod to help us shuffle back Water Energy and also possibly the Finneon to recycle it uh, to use its ability a second time if they do a Snipe. If they do a Boss on the Finneon, we get to shuffle it back and use it again. And since we are attaching from the deck with Trinity Nova, it actually makes sense using Arceus with Rod. It's a better combo than, using, than playing our Training Court. So that's the reason we have uh, two Temple of Sinnoh now instead of one Sinnoh and one Training Court. Um, that doesn't actually make much sense, honestly. Okay, here comes the Cramorant doing their second knockout. They're pulling out the boss, they're knocking out the Dugong on the bench. I'm not sure why they're keeping uh, the damage counters on the other Dugong though. Okay, we're just gonna play the, the same Dugong apparently. So we got no energies, we, we're getting stuck pretty badly, um, we got VIP pass, no energies to draw cards with Greninja, no water energy to play Melanie from the discard pile, so this is pretty bad, no more star birth, we just wasted the ability for uh, an early knockout which apparently isn't a smart choice. Shuffling back the water though kind of makes it easier for us to draw water energy from the top deck, but we are playing a lot of items for this deck as well, so that's probably the reason why we're getting nothing. It would have been smarter for us to play Starbirth for Marnie to prepare for the next turn, but uh, I don't know. Now we have a bucket, so hopefully that actually helps, because if we did Starbirth for the bucket and a supporter card, it would definitely save us uh, for this game. So we got a quick ball. We're trying to compress the deck from uh, all of the unnecessary cards by searching for the basic. And we actually bench the Arceus because we have a second V-Star in our hand. Might as well just um, play Nova for the next one. So we got no energies on Arceus which is pretty bad. I'm not sure how we're going to actually survive this game because they're doing knockouts every single turn like mad. Um, Arceus, good thing about it is that we actually get to tank damage. Cramorant is not able to knock out the Arceus uh, with one hit. 
that's probably our only ticket to survive this game. Uh, so we finally got the water energy and now we're going to do concealed cards Melanie, hopefully drawing out the double turbo for us to do our first Nova. But I don't think we're going to get it because we're only drawing three cards with Melanie and there we go. No double turbo, we're forced to wait one more turn uh, to attack with the Arceus for our first hit. Um, I don't think Greninja is going to help for this game because we have no uh, energy switch anyways. We do have the Raihan but eventually even if we do a, a bench knight for 90 damage, it wouldn't actually help us because they're probably going to discard all of their Arakudas from play before we have enough energies on the Greninja. So they got Nessa and Rescue Carrier uh, to get the Arakudas back into the uh, back onto the bench, um, but they actually need to play Palpad and Luminion to re uh, to retrieve Nessa from the discard pile. It would be smarter to play Eldegoss V though. Or Baynet from Lost Origin, but they're actually playing Luminion. Okay, we're gonna do Ultra Ball right now, compressing the deck further and making full use of training cards since we have it already. Uh, might as well just play it <laughs> from our hand. So we got one water to do conceal cards on the next turn. Let's hope, fingers crossed, they don't play a path. If they do Path to the Peak, we can't draw cards with Greninja. Um, they just did a hammer on us, so we actually do need to draw out the double turbo. Without the double turbo, we're not able to attack. We're going to be forced to search for the Melanie by drawing cards with Greninja. So that's our only hope to survive this game, honestly. Um, they have three prize remaining. We got five, so I'm not sure how we're actually going to play this. We got um, Poncho for this game. We're actually playing Poncho instead of... I'm not sure what we had now. I think Drapion. So we have Drapion V to replace for the Poncho uh, the, for the final upgrade because Mew VMAX is just running rampant around in standard, which is really annoying. So we kind of have no space for Poncho now, but Poncho is actually pretty fun to play for a V Star, especially Arceus. So let's just do Concealed Cards. Um, if we attach the energy, they may just do uh, Crushing Hammer again. So I feel like we should just draw out the Melanie and the Double Turbo at the same time. Uh, we have two copies of the Turbo. We should be fine if we get the Turbo at the right time. Um, we're going to Training Cord back the Water Energy and attach one. Let's hope they don't play another... Uh, Oh my gosh, if they get... They just benched the Cramorant though. That's the reason we pass the turn. Uh, because we are confident that Arcus is actually going to stay alive for another turn. Right? Because they have they have no space for another Arakuda. So they are only doing 120 max damage right now. Fortunately. So Luminion is eating up the bench spot. And they actually have to bench a second Cramorant to prepare for the knockout. So I feel like they're only able to pull off 180 max damage every single turn. Um, so they made the mistake of uh, benching the third Cramorant, right? So now they're not doing a knockout. Unless if they boss the Greninja, maybe? I don't think so, because they're only doing 100 damage with double turbo. So they're wasting their turns, but I guess we wasted a lot more turns than them. <laughs> We're gonna do a boss right now. Let's play the boss for the Luminion knockout because they just gave us a V on a bench. We're gonna boss and hopefully if they bench another Luminion, we got a Serena um, inside the deck still to play it at the last minute for another double price draw. So our first Trinity Nova during the second and third prize late game, super super late in the game. So disappointed in myself. We have to play it, we have no choice. If we don't play it now, they could quite easily just Aqua Return. I don't think they have the Water Energy though. Like if they play Raihan for the Double Turbo, they can Aqua Return for the Knockout. They can not just finish off our Arceus V Star in the active, but also deny us the 2 prize draw by shuffling back the Luminion into the deck. So that would be gnarly. We have to do it now. Make sure you do the boss early if you got a V knockout with it. Never delay because they could easily do a Marnie. 
and we have Volo now, so <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, another crushing hammer. Surprise, surprise. It's not doing much though, because we got Melanie, Training Court, and Trinity Nova for extra energies. So there's gonna be a tiny lag here, sorry about that. Um, it won't happen often though for this video, so don't worry about it. Uh, so they have hammers and catchers. I think their only hope is to play the catcher uh, with the Nessa, right? They play Nessa and catcher at the right time. They got the final knockout against the Greninja. They should definitely be targeting the Greninja. We got three prize remaining though. It would be a tall order for us to last three turns with Triple Nova. Uh, but I feel like we can do it because we have our Poncho. If we play our cards right, we may be able to deny them the final one prize. Uh, all they need is the catcher though. If they get ahead with the catcher, we're done for. So if they bench the Luminion, they got no space for the Arakudas. That's the bad thing about playing V abilities, because you can't scoop them up. Um, it's better to play cards like Bayonet or Meowstic because you get to scoop them up. Bayonet is definitely better. You don't need to play Palpat with Bayonet. You get to empty a bench spot for you to bench more Arakudas for big damage with your Cramoran. They can still save it though if they scoop up on the Cramorans and play Luminion for its ability to bench three Arakudas in a single turn with Nessa and then play uh, Pokemon Catcher to knock out the Greninja in a single turn. So that would be their ticket, but I don't think they can pull it off. I don't think they have nets for a Cramorin deck. And I'm just realizing this right now, but they have no proper draw engine. They got no Lucky Egg gift energy to help them draw cards. They ha uh, you know, they can't obviously bench the Greninja B-Barrel. So that's the biggest problem for Cramorin right now, um, is that they don't have a proper draw support. They can't get the energy that easily. They can't get the Nessa or the Rescue Carrier. Um, if they don't play, you know, cards like Tracking Shoes is going to be a lot more difficult. I don't think Tracking Shoes is good enough though, honestly. So we have Temple of Sinnoh to block them from using the double turbo, but they are lucky enough to get the capture at the right time uh, for them to play the attack. And that means we're actually helping them to do 20 more damage with the double turbo. So 240 damage. Uh, we got the Poncho, we're going to make full use of it right now. Uh, to deny them the final one price draw. If they do a Pokemon Catcher on the Arceus, they just need one last Arakuda. So that would be really, really terrible. I feel like they have something else instead of just the Nessa. I don't think they can play nothing but Nessa because they need to draw out the energy. So you'll see later that they actually played Acerola to draw cards and we weren't expecting that. So... Uh, the reason I didn't play the escape rope is because they have two energies on the active, right? So we want to be uh, denying them uh, the energies because we have the Temple of Sinnoh still in play. If they don't have enough energies, they can't attack with Cramoran. Even with the uh, Nessa or the Rescue Carrier, even with enough Arakudas on the bench, they are not able to attack. So that's what we want. We want to be knocking out the active. We can't play escape rope. We're forced to discard the energy for the retreat, but I'm sure we have like one last energy in the deck. We uh, we get to play escape rope if they trap us with a boss uh, by pulling out something in the active. If they can't knock it out, if they pull out into the active, they're probably gonna knock it out though, right? If they play a catcher boss, they probably would have uh, enough Arakudas on the bench to do knockout. But they have no energies though. They need the energy and the rescue carrier. They got one last copy in the deck. Um, let's hope they don't get their carrier, and there we go, Acerola's Premonition, uh, drawing them so many cards, we weren't expecting that, and that's the reason we didn't play our item cards, we could have done a uh, quick ball to discard another item, just play off the heavy ball, remove it from our hand, um, that would have given us a higher chance of winning, so now if they play the rod, they actually still got the window, because they got a heads from the catcher, and they're pulling out the Arceus, they just need that one carrier, or that one rod with a level ball, then they got the win. But apparently, they're not able to do it, which is pretty sad, because <laughs> we just gave them so many turns uh, with the dead hand early game. We made a fatal flaw of searching for double water energy with star birth, and that actually screwed us over for so many turns, and now we're picking up, we're picking back up 
so fast. <laughs> They're not able to get the carrier. They can't play Nessa. They have no rods. It's over. We got our escape rope. We should be fine. We even have a switch in our hand. If they play, uh, they can't play a Marnie anymore. My bad. So they're just trying to weigh their options. What else can they do, right? The only thing I feel like they can pull off is a rod. If they don't have a rod in their deck, they're done for. I feel like Cramorant needs an uh, ordinary rod with level balls. I don't think you can just play nothing but Nessa and Rescue Carrier. It's not enough, unfortunately. So we got a final knockout winning the game against a one price Cramorant with Luminion. Grand! Okay, now we're up against another water box. They got a Blastoise coin. Nice. We got our Squirtle deck sleeve rocking out a water colorless box using Arcus V Star. I need to switch my headphones um, at some point. So give me a couple of seconds to do that. Double Blastoise. Oh, I love that. I think we did this for one of our previous decks. We played uh, Blastoise VMAX with the Pogo Blastoise. Or was it the other Blastoise? Oh, we did Triple Blastoise, I think. We got Radiant Blastoise as well. I'm not actually too sure now. It wasn't so consistent though. I think we changed the list. We had only the Radiant Blastoise with the VMAX. So no Pogo Blastoise. Um, we're just gonna play the Bibaro and the Greninja. We have no Bidoof though. Sorry, we have no Bibaro in the deck, so we're just gonna get the Suicune. Oh shit, we have! We do have the Bibaro in our hand. That was weird. Um, let's get the Bidoof. We may need to play Poncho for the Arceus, so we're just gonna switch right now. Um, Doing Nova early though is actually a big plus. So if we did if we do Blizzard Rondo early game, we may not get enough energies to do flow return that early, but we at least get to do big damage, you know, get some damage in the game before doing our first Nova. If we do Nova fast though, if we play Nova fast, we got more energies to do more damage with Dugong. So that's a little bit more secure on the knockout side. But in the long run, Sweet Queen is gonna help you make the deck, uh, make your draw more consistent, make your gameplay, game flow more easy. Because you get extra draw with Fleetfoot, you get extra damage with Blizzard Rondo. So I feel like Sweet Queen has a lot more value. Than you would think. Um, do they have a bench type? Gyarados. That's a weird deck. Uh, let's get the Arceus. We're gonna draw cards with Vibero and Suicune. Let's just... Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> let's get the Dunsparce. Draw with Fleetfoot. We may have to do Starbirth just for water energy. Isn't that ridiculous? We're gonna get a Melanie and a Water Energy. Or possibly the Double Turbo. We could get... Oh, no Water Energy. What? That is just weird. We have no Water in the discard pile. Are you serious? That is just bizarre, yo. Okay, we're, we're forced to attack with Suicune, but better than nothing, right? I'm gonna play the Poncho right now. Do a knockout. Get a prize, and Nova on the next turn.
Oh my god. Vitality springs. So many energies. Um, let's get all the evolution out of the way. Melanie, um, we're gonna do escape rope now. How much is that Blastoise doing, yo? It got like five energies. Two hundred and seventy on the next turn. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna do escape rope now. Let's do as many water as we can. I'm not sure if we should have played that many ponjos though. Uh, the ponjo that early. Oh, we should have attached to the dugong. Oh no, we couldn't though. This is actually pretty weird. I don't know what to do right now. I have no idea what to do right now. Um, let's draw on the next turn with- let's draw later with Bibaro. got the boss. Yikes. Oh no. Let's play this one. If we get the energy switch or Raihan, we should be good. Oh man, we got the turbo! Oh no! We could have done 160. 140 damage. Damn it. Fuck. Fuck, this is bad. Oh my, I didn't, I wasn't aware that we could have done turbo for the knockout. Oh man, we would have, we would have needed to shuffle back all the energies though, right? That wouldn't be good. If we shuffle back all four, if we shuffle back three, it would be 120 minus, we are doing 100 damage, which isn't enough. If we got the energy switch on Raihan, that would be ideal. Shuffle back 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Melanie or Turbo for Trinity Nova against the Blastoise.
Oh my god. Another one. Are you serious? Oh my god. Yikes. Look at the energy on that thing. Wait, seven... They're doing 300 damage though with the goddamn Blastoise. <clears throat> Oh wait, we got 7 cards left. We're shuffling back the energies though. Raihan. Got another poncho. Blanche. Blanche with Blastoise. Oh, that's a fun combo. Pokemon Go. It's not that consistent, but it's like a very, very fun uh, meme water deck with Vulpix. Okay. Oh my god, Vulpix is gonna be hard. How are we gonna kill the Vulpix? We need to play the Energy Switch. Energy Switch with Flow Return to knock out the Vulpix or a Serena though. We just need the Serena. I think we got the win here. Serena give us the knockout. Um, we may actually play the energy switch. Uh, one, two. Can we actually do that though? Oh wait, we can't do Melanie and energy switch. Yeah. We got boss and let's let's play energy switch, right? Oh wait, they got Silvery Snow Star for each of your opponent's V in play. So that's 140. How many energies would we have though? If we knock out the Blastoise, we can kill uh, the... Vo I, feel, I feel pretty confident with this. I don't think I want to do... Um, Okay, this is actually pretty scary. We're gonna attach one. Um, I don't think I want to do a boss or Serena to win the game because that would be pretty lame. We're gonna do Flow Return a second time. If they do a boss on the Dugong though, oh my god, I did not, I did not foresee that. We would be forced to play our boss then, right? If they kill off the Dugong, we can't actually deal with the um, Vulpix. I almost called it Nine Tails. I keep calling this thing Nine Tails. Alolan Vulpix V Star is not taking any damage from Arceus because we got a uh, Star Birth ability. One last turn. And if we retreat though, we're discarding the energies. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, we don't actually have enough energies. Oh man, we don't have enough energies. That's a bit sad. We got the boss. Oh well. We didn't have enough energies. <laughs> if we had one more, or the switch, we would have gone 240 damage to exactly knock out the V-Star. But oh well, we did another flow return against a Blastoise water box.
very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Let's play with Arceus. We got Derelodon. Oh, sorry. I just call it a Derelodon for some reason. Greninja. Is it a Dialga V star deck? Is it a pure Zacian deck? A Zacian V star. We have Zacian V star now. Totally forgot about that. Um, I feel like the only thing we can do is a Suicune. If we get Arceus, we just need to dig for the Incense. I feel safer getting an Arceus though, uh, for some reason. If we get the Bidoof, we got the Draw Support. Oh, we got Nobi Barrel. Got more energies. Uh, we're probably gonna do a boss right now, which would be hella depressing. Uh, and I'm not sure what to do. What do we even do? We got nothing. No incense. I feel like we had no choice but to do the Suicune. Um, definitely should have attached to the Suicune. But they're probably gonna just switch retreat and attack again. <coughs> they may just evolve, right? If they... Oh, they didn't do a knockout. Interesting. If they did Brave Blade on the last turn, they could evolve and attack with a V-Star. Um, that would be quite crazy. So we're just going to draw more cards. My stalkers are running rampant today. They're like not giving me a break. They're being really persistent today. Apparently is their is their work day. They have to work today, everyone. My stalkers are forced to work their ass off just to be a fucking idiot. Goddamn demons, yo. Oh, we could have played a Melanie. I just realized that. If we play the Melanie, though, we may not get the energy. So. 230 is not enough, anyways. Oh, we could have done Escape Rope Melanie, right? But they would have given us the Oranguru. Would have been possibly worse. So maybe, can the Zashin actually knock us out though? I'm not too sure. We're just going to attach the Suicune just in case. I don't know if the Zashin can actually knock out the Arceus. They need 4 energies, right? They have no choice belt. Okay, this is a weird... Like, this is actually a pretty weird game. Because they waited two turns to do Brave Blade, and they are not evolving. I don't actually know what to think. Are we going to play the capture? Or are we going to just draw cards with it? Okay. Um, we have a Recycler now. Just in case anyone's wondering. 
We should have just retreated and played the Suicune. I mean, that was actually quite silly. Uh, let's just attach the Suicune. They're probably going to knock us out on the next turn. Let's hope we get it. Okay, we got the Bibero, but haven't benched the Bidoof yet. Here comes the Saucers. Raihan. Another saucer, okay. Oh, a Marnie. I feel like we need like a adventurous discovery. Maybe. That could actually help help out this deck a lot more. But what are we gonna swap it for though? Maybe for the extra capture. I don't think we should be playing three captures. But we have only two captures now, I think. Okay, we're gonna bench those two. Um, we could have actually done flow return already. Oh, I, I wasn't being aware. Oh shit, that's bad. Because we could have done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 240 damage. Oh, we could have done a lot more than that. Let's hope we get the switch. Okay, we got no switch. No regrets right there. Um, if we attach the V-Guard... They actually can't knock us out though. Okay, this is pretty sad. We're gonna do V-Guard on the Suicune. And try to get some damage. So now they need um, to evolve. They can't switch retreat. If they saucer on this one though, they just need to retreat and play a choice belt. So they still have a pretty good chance of winning, honestly. They're probably going to evolve into the V-Star at the last second to do a V-Star knockout to wipe out our Arceus at the last minute. Or a big surprise, uh, surprise finish, right? That would be quite interesting. Okay, they actually did the Arceus knockout. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Definitely need the Adventurous Discovery, because that could help us, uh, it not just Helps us get the V-Star a lot earlier, but also bench the next Arceus, right? Without benching, we can't do anything. Um, we can't really... We got B-Barrel. Uh, I feel like we should play the Dugong first. Definitely should play the Dugong first. We're gonna play... The B-Barrel. Try to get an energy. So Suicune is not helping us do a knockout though. Oh shit. Ah, I just realized that. How am I just realizing that? Holy shit. Suicune is not helping us do a knockout. So we're gonna shuffle back 4 energies and do a melody. Okay, we got the energy switch. Um, are we gonna draw cards right now? If we retreat though... We need the switch. How do we get the switch? 
not the energy switch. Oh, I don't know what to do. We need to keep the dew going for sure, right? We have to keep the dew going. So we're gonna discard that. I don't think we need the boss. Um, we're gonna get another seal. And possibly just retreat, I guess. Wait, do we have the knockout though? 160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, we don't have the knockout with Suicune. 4, 5, 6, 7. We actually don't have the knockout with Suicune. Yikes. That's pretty sad. Oh my god. What are we going to do against the Zashin? I don't think we can win this. We got the perfect boss. We should not have benched the Suicune, like we should have just benched two Arceus. Ah, uh, the Suicune is just destroying my game right now. It's not doing enough damage. What are we even gonna do? We're just gonna energy. Let's draw one card first. No, let's do be barrel first. Let's do that. Draw with the barrel. Attach the energy. Let's attach onto Greninja, maybe. Just to spread the energies around. Um, we're gonna draw cards more and more. So all they need is an escape rope, really. They got escape rope, they win the game. We're not gonna bench anymore. If they don't do escape rope, we're gonna flow return to finish finish off the final Zashin. We got Serena with the flow return. Got a pretty bad start, so. Um probably gonna evolve. I know they're gonna evolve at the last second. Here comes the V-Star. They got all four copies in the deck. Probably have Heavy Ball though. Right, if they get the Heavy Ball, they can just get the, the last one from the prize. Quite easily. Here comes the V-Star. No V-Star. Scoop up that. If they scoop it up though. Okay. Okay. Do we have the win? I'm not so sure. 160. Thank god. We actually did enough with Suicune on the last turn. Um, we're just gonna keep drawing though. Oh, we could've- oh my god, we could've drawn with Rebarrel. Let's see if we can draw with Rebarrel still. Okay, we can at least draw two cards. Uh, we're gonna attach it here. Okay, we can't play a supporter card. We have to remember not to play a supporter card. Because we gotta play Serena. If we got the switch though, or escape rope. Okay, no escape rope, that's fine. I think we have enough for sure. Because we just need four, right? We have exactly four. 
It was a pure Zacian deck, no V-Star. I was so expecting the V-Star though. <laughs> it's definitely a lot more consistent if you play full basic. That's probably the reason why we couldn't get our Arceus V-Star out that early. Um, they are blocking us from getting our evolutions. So for those that just joined the stream, today we are featuring our Neptune's Arc deck using Arceus V-Star with the new Dugong from Lost Origin. So Dugong has the flow return attack doing 40x damage for each uh, water energy you shuffle back from your Pokemon in play. So if for the, the more water energy you have in play, the more you get to shuffle back into the deck and the more you shuffle back, the more damage you're doing with this attack. If you play Arceus to attach energy onto your second Arceus on a bench, uh, with um, Poncho, you actually get to deny them from doing a boss on the second uh, on your bench Arceus while collecting more and more energies with Trinity Nova, uh, you know, as the turn goes by because we can actually tank more damage with our V-Guard. If we have V-Guard and Melanie early game, we can actually play Trinity Nova twice and then on the next turn, we can shuffle back up to 8 energies with Dugong and Energy Switch. We got one energy switch, we even got one Raihan to get extra energies onto Dugong with Greninja to discard uh, our water so that we get to play Melanie and Raihan. We got 320 damage in the game if we uh, if we shuffle back 8 energies back into the deck, uh, 8 basic water, or if we shuffle back 9, we got a VMAX knockout with 360 damage. This attack is just crazy, we can uh, actually use this as a last minute knockout for the final 3 prize with a boss against a VMAX. If we do uh, a boss though, we would need to play our energy switch, right? But we have our Bibero to draw out the item. We even have our Greninja and also Suicune for the draw support. So Suicune helping us do Fleet Foot for an extra card from the top deck. We also have Blizzard Rondo doing early damage in the game for only two energies uh, without having to play Star Birth early. We got Blizzard Rondo for big damage, possibly doing a knockout with Choice Belt as well. And we also have our uh, Star Birth to search for any two cards. We got one copy of Choice Belt with two Poncho to deny our opponent from doing a boss or Serena to knock out any of our uh, V-Stars on the bench. It only works on V-Star or V-Max that you attach this tool card to on your bench. Uh, it protects them from uh, effects of supporter cards so they can't actually play Team Yell or Flannery. Flannery only works on your active though, I think. So those supporter cards doesn't work on your bench V-Max, right? Um... I think Flannery works as well, so it's, it's not on the bench. Whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to the Pokemon V-Star or V-Max this card is attached to. So Flannery actually works. If they play Flannery, they are not allowed to discard any special energy from your active Pokemon V-Star if you attach this tool card onto that V-Star. And we have our Switch cards, one Escape Rope, sorry, one Air Balloon, two Escape Rope, and one Switch. Our basic summons include four VIP Pass, four Quick Ball with two Capture. Uh, my bad, we have three Capture now. Which I would recommend to swap one for a powerful, because powerful would actually help you do a bit more damage with double turbo early game, and it may actually do uh, help you do a V star like a Volpix knockout or a, a one hit knockout against you know low HP V star Pokemon's like the City Y. Um, not really a City Y, my bad. Uh, Whimsicott. Whimsicott has 250 HP. Uh, unknown V star, Mawile V star. They probably have V guard though. Those cards. Uh, if they don't play V guard, we got an instant knockout with our powerful. And so now we actually, I prefer to play two capture with one powerful and one V guard, one double turbo with 11 basic water. We also have uh, one heavy ball to get any Pokemon from the prize, any basic Pokemon from the prize, one boss and one Serena with three Melanie and one Raihan. So that's all for the deck list. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time. Have a great day and bye for the ball. Enjoy life.